noon to all of you. Today my talk requested was IQ, EQ, SQ. Something which I've been talking about for several years, I think from the early 90s. It's about, I hope after this session, I just tweak your thinking a little so that you all are able to be, live better lives and be happier with yourself and with everything that's happening around you. This is the scenario for most of us. We are like the busy bee. We are buzzing around, doing all kinds of things. And if you think about the bee, the bee is not even sure why it's collecting honey. Because it doesn't drink the honey. It's we who drink the honey. And name, fame, money. It's all about money, honey at the end. Okay? And we've got all our supporting people, especially in the management world, you'll find books like this, competing for the future. It's always about competing and running a race. But if you really want to be a winner, you don't have to compete with the outside world. What you need to do is put on your shoes and start running and living the best life you can live. So you need to chase your dreams and not compete with somebody else. And you'll find that life is much easier and much better. I specialize in this little blob, which is called the brain. And unfortunately, without it, none of us can do anything. So I am in a very niche area, specializing in something that everyone in this room needs and which I need to survive. If you look at the hierarchy of human intelligences, she just talked beautifully about this and how well you can use that and how you can integrate this into this, into this, into this. That is why I said what she taught is, has really laid a base for what I need to say. But we are not going to talk too much about the body today, though that is what I concern myself with on a day-to-day -day basis when I treat patients. But we need to, this is something that I don't even have to talk about because everybody is focusing, like she said. So that is being focused on anyway. What we need to focus about are these two. Now, the EQ part of it, I think now there's a lot of importance being given to EQ because we need, we understand that the human is a social animal and living alone or in isolation is not an option. You have to learn to manage yourself and manage your relationships at every level, whether it's personal or social. And of course, all of us have a deep innate spirituality in us. There is something beyond us. You can call it the divine, you can call it God, you can call God by any name, but there is something we know that while she just told you that it is limitless, your abilities are limitless, there is also something which makes us realize that maybe there is something which is more limitless than us and that we call as the divine. And what is IQ? IQ is mainly material capital. If you look at it, yes, you need it. You need to have your degrees, you need to get your uh, awards, your prizes, whatever. It is rational intelligence. It's logical. I mean, two plus two make four kind of intelligence. It's actually what I think. And it's very much a left brain function. And it's reasonably stable over time, though you can improve it by various inputs from various directions. But what is EQ? EQ is a whole lot of things. It is social capital. What is happening in the world today is we have a lot of IQ, but not enough EQ. And that is why we are having wars. That's why people are not getting along with each other. That's why divorce rates are peaking. That's why parents and children are separating. And that is why suicides in young people for trivial reasons. All this is because our EQ is lacking. Now, what is this EQ? It is first and foremost motivation. And prior to motivation, it is self-esteem. How comfortable am I in my own skin? So for that, you need to be very confident about who you are and what you are. Decision-making, interpersonal awareness, getting along with other people, empathy, feeling what others feel, or able to put yourself in the other person's place. It's a right brain function. It's flexible. It can change over time. 
SQ is, I've already told you, it is what I am. It's a whole brain function. Now, all of these are linked together. If you look at it, the soul is what your divine is. The heart, she has already told you all this. All of these synchronize together and make you what you are. So for the whole per person, you need to know who I am, what I want, what is my concept of success, what do I value, what do I have, and what is my purpose. And this is a fusion of IQ, EQ, and SQ. All of us want a great life. And what's a great life? I think out of all these points here, the power to choose and making a difference in my life are the most important. I have the power to choose to make a difference in the world. I can be a contributor. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I make a positive change in everything around me. I think those two in my life have been the most important priorities. So take a fresh look at yourself. And I know that very often we are trying to conform. This is what, in fact, I was reminded of you guys in this <laughs> suit. That's why I put this picture there. But then there are some people, iconoclasts, who do this, who are totally different, even to the degree of standing on their head. You don't have to be either this or this, but you can strike a good via media between the two and identify who you are. Remember, you are your personal brand. So you guys launch into branding the TED event, launch into branding so many other things. Learn to brand yourself and remember, that you are a unique personal brand. And that is where innovation versus invention, and you guys have titled this as inventing innovation. I think you need a little bit of invention, a little bit of innovation, in order to make the real you and your own unique personal brand. Now, these are some personal brands. You can see there are at once certain things we think about when we see these names and these faces. So when is it that you are going to be such a personal brand that there's something so typical and striking about you that everybody around you recognizes that as you. And the best goal to aim for is, I'll tell you next, but what you need to do is lay this foundation. And only then there is a brand stability. So work on becoming a better you every day. Don't bother to compete. And then your aspiration, then the differentiation, visibility, and the rest of it can happen. So you have to, a very simple formula. Live in such a way that if someone spoke badly of you, no one would believe it. Did you get the message there? Because the future of this country is in our hands. And it's up to all of us to keep our IQ, EQ, SQ in balance so that we have enough PQ, which is performance quotient, and another SQ, which is social quotient. Then our lives are in harmony, and we can do whatever we want, however we want, and whenever we want.